Today, we're talking about sending plants to the moon and Mars. So, we're trying to turn the red planet green? In our laboratory, we are most interested in the limitations and the possibilities of life moving off from the surface of the Earth. What happens to terrestrial organisms in strange and unusual environments like spaceflight? We've had the chance to be weightless in NASA's zero-g airplane. It is a bit like a giant roller coaster. It's a little bit more intense than a roller coaster. In working with NASA and in working with spaceflight applications, we have gotten to experience a number of, of environments that are used for, basically for analogs for space. And one of the places where we have explored the use of plants in analog environments is in the high Canadian Arctic at a place called the Hot and Mars Project. The Hot and Mars Project is set up uh, on a barren, uh, uninhabited island in the Arctic. It is an island that has also suffered a major asteroid impact about 26 million years ago. So we can, as scientists, set up a, an exploration station right on the edge of a crater, just like it would be on the edge of a crater on Mars. And we can look at how plants react to that environment, how they might grow in soil that has been impacted by a, by a very large asteroid. So one of the, the ways that we can get um, uh, an environment that is a spaceflight type environment that we can get here on Earth is using the NASA's parabolic flight planes like the KC-135 or the C-9. And essentially what these planes are, are they're, they're jets that, that fly in a parabolic path. And so if you make over and over again these parabolas where right as you come up over the top, you get about 30 seconds of weightlessness. Now that 30 seconds of weightlessness, even, even that small window of time, is certainly enough time for the the, the human researchers to feel the effects of it and we think that plants can feel those effects also in a very quick manner. But one of the things that we always say is that when we leave Earth's orbit we'll take plants with us. We do know that if we want to grow plants on either of these surfaces that we are not going to be able to bring all the dirt with us to grow them. We're going to have to be able to utilize resources that are in place.